I lived in Poland before the war. I was a child and schoolboy in Poland. I spent the war in Poland. I was 14 when the war broke out. I studied at uh, underground schools and universities during the German occupation. I joined the resistance movement in 1943 and I uh, took part in the Warsaw Uprising. I came here exactly on the 31st of January 1946. I was still in uniform. The, the solidarity period <coughs> was of course tremendously important to Poland, but it was also very important in my life because it made me sort of aware of my Polish roots and in a sense very proud of what the Poles had achieved, were trying to achieve. When, th when things liberalized a bit, um, uh, I saw the opportunities for sort of, if you like, doing business with the communists. I had this idea of bringing Polish academics, uh, first of all, the senior ones, for short visits, one month long visits. It was called Oxford College's Hospitality Scheme for Polish Scholars. <laughs> A mouthful. I think the Poles can be justly proud of the fact that in an unbelievably short time, they dismantled the system of planned economy, state-owned enterprises and so on. One of the things that is missing in Poland and which is absolutely essential uh, in every modern state is a prof strong, highly qualified, professional, but non-political civil service. In some respects, I live here, I have a British family, uh, you know, I, I acquired some modest uh, academic status in Britain as a, as a as a teacher of political science at Oxford. So, you know, I'm very firmly rooted. I have been and am still, although I'm retired, I'm very firmly rooted in Britain. And I identify myself with Britain and all sorts of things British. But I also, especially since 89, I identify myself with the new Poland. I believe in, in, um, in, in multiple nationalities or multiple patriotism. I think your nationality is not something that you're sort of born with. And it's not something which is defined by your legal status. I think ultimately it's, it's, uh, it's what you make of your life, what you make of, your, um, uh, of the, 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 the country of your origin or the country where you live. How you perceive that country, uh, what you take from it, you know, what you reject from it, uh, how active you are in one homeland or, or another, which actually determines who you are.